Yo, what is up my friends? Welcome back. So this is my no BS guide on how to set up your Asus gaming laptop. Well, first off, we're gonna make sure everything is up to date. We're gonna go to the Windows update and check for updates, see if there's any updates. Also go to advanced options and make sure there are no updates over here. And if there are, install them. Open GeForce Experience, go to drivers and look if there is any update on the GPU. And last of all, go to Armory Crate, press on the little wheel, go to Update Center and check for updates. So the next thing you wanna do is, is open the Armory Crate software using the little thingy down here or the dedicated button on your laptop and make sure your ultimate or standard GPU modes are enabled. You can read the little text. You can pause if you want to scroll back. Now. Now we have the power modes and it's quite simple. Turbo mode offers the best performance. We have, you can see it over here, the performance mode and the turbo mode. But if you use a 4000 series GPU laptop, the silent mode is actually surprisingly good at the cost of almost no performance loss. So you might wanna check that out, but obviously turbo will offer the best performance. And while you are at it, make sure to go to the game visuals and select the vivid mode because they just look so much better than all the others. It's much brighter. Next thing you wanna do is, is you wanna to go to your search bar over here, type in graphic settings, select the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This requires a restart. Now next off is the Nvidia control panel. Go to manage 3D settings and set your settings like this. I personally would not change too much in this. So next on the list is disabling core isolation. And you wanna to go to your search bar, type in core isolation and disable the core isolation over here. This requires a restart. If you play a game like Valorant, you do not want to turn this off because you cannot play the game if you turn this off. For most games, it's perfectly fine to turn this off. So the next on the list is disabling your background apps. Just open your task manager by control alt delete, go to task manager. Go to startup and disable all the apps you do not want to start up when you boot your computer. At last, but not least, place something under the back of your laptop so the intake is better and your laptop can suck in air better so the cooling will increase. And it's a free tip, anybody can do it. I sometimes just use the power brick. And well, that was it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave it a like if you did and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.